When you create a composition, a format is also defined. Here, we can see that the format defined by this composition is HD, 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. If we click on the format parameter, the list of available formats appears. To better explain the concept of a format, we'll go back to the documentation which explains this concept through the example of a hamburger and camera. The camera above the stack takes a picture of the stack of food making up the hamburger. The resulting image is limited by a certain frame. This frame is called the format. In the viewer, the format is represented by the white rectangle surrounding the image. If we click on the format parameter, the list of autograph preset formats appears. This format list is defined within the settings in the formats section. These formats are represented by a pixel width value, another value for the number of pixels in height, and a pixel aspect ratio value for non-square pixels. Clicking on the Add button allows you to add a new format. Double-clicking on its name lets you rename it. Here, for example, we can create a new square format for social media that's 1080 pixels in width and height. We can close this preference window by clicking outside of it. Now this new format shows up on the list of formats. You can also view this list of formats from the bottom left of the viewer. The list of formats in the viewer always begins with the word source, followed by a specific format, in this case, HD. This is the initial format defined by the composition connected to the viewer. This is a format that was defined in the properties window. This format defined by the composition will allow us to define the pixels that'll be produced during rendering. But when we use this composition, for example, to connect it to a viewer, we can temporarily assign another format from those available on the list. So the source entry on the list represents the format embedded by the composition. If we double click on the basketball to display it in the viewer, we can see that this indicator tells us the number of pixels that make up this image. Here we can see the source label again. Even though it's possible to temporarily assign another format, it's important to remember that source represents the original file pixels. If we double click on the lights PNG file, we can see that the size of this image is HD. By double clicking on the QuickTime animation net.mov, the size is 150 pixels wide by 150 pixels high. One of Autograph's great features is that you can define an initial format for a composition, but you can change it to another format every time you use it. When creating the composition, Autograph assigned a certain frame rate and an HD format for a duration of 30 seconds by default. These default values can be changed by going into the settings in the default values section. The next composition will be HD. We'll change the frame rate to 30 frames per second, and we can also change its duration so it doesn't have to be 30 seconds. We'll click outside of this window to confirm our choices. The next time we click on the Composition Creation button, these parameters will be used. In this video, we went over how to define the composition format, add a format to the list of preset formats, and inspect the format of an image imported into the project panel.